Hey guys, Zach Yak here, back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a main menu for your game. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go to Starter GUI, which is where all the GUI will be for every single player that joins the game. We're going to click the plus, and first we're going to add a screen GUI and call it main menu this is where all of our GUI will be so the two buttons we will be using is going to be play and credits play will actually start our game and credits will show who helped create our game so we're going to click the add and add two text buttons And rename both of them. Okay, so these are obviously looking a little plain, so let's go change how they look in the properties. Okay, this seems good enough for now. And the last thing we will do is create the menu that will show when we click credits. So we're gonna go to main menu and add a frame. We're gonna move it to the middle. And don't worry that it's covering the button. And inside it, let's add our text. Okay, so this seems like a pretty good credits tab so far, and also let's rename the frame to credits frame. Okay, so now we're ready to start scripting our play button. Let's click the plus icon and add a local script. Let's delete the default code. And now let's start with a few variables.
now let's make it so that our humanoid cannot move until we click play. And now let's make the code for what happens when we click the button. forgot we obviously have to add the blur effect so go into lighting and just click blur effect okay let's test it out so as you guys can see it's blurry and I cannot move right now I'm clicking WASD in space and nothing is happening so this is good and when we click play it should remove everything and we should be able to move there you go okay so the next step is scripting the credits so we're going to go into credits and create a local script and let's start with the variables. And let's also make him not able to move. Okay, so the next step is making a function for what happens when the button is pressed. And let's do so after waiting five seconds the credits menu disappears and we go back to our normal menu all of this basically just negates this okay so let's try it out when we click credits a menu should appear and then after five seconds it should disappear there you go. And now when we click play, everything disappears and we're able to move. That's it. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new. Bye.